rolling. Yeah. You're homeless, New Orleans. Tell me about it. Well, I'm from Maryland, married for 30 years, and wife died from cancer. We had no kids. I ended up losing it and ended up in the nut house three months. We got out, couldn't hold a job down. Everybody would tell me go to New Orleans, that jobs are plentiful, and I, <laughs> like a dummy, I, I, instead of investigating it, I just left, came here, and come find out that was after Katrina. I've been here like nine months sleeping on the streets and had a couple of temp temporary jobs and there's nothing permanent, but I refused to give up because I got God on my side and I know he ain't put more on my shoulders than I can handle. So every day I go to the library, get on the internet, fill out the application, and I leave out there, go knock on doors, hoping something good. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm here in New Orleans. Trying to find work. Trying to find work. So there was there was work after Katrina, or is that? Yeah. What, yeah. So that's it. But you, so they told you the wrong time. Right. And oh my gosh, and you came here just hoping for the best. Yeah, trying to start my life all over again, and so far <laughs> this is where I'm at. And I just got a dollar that somebody just put in my head, well, four quarters or whatever, and. I don't drink, don't use drugs. I believe in God. And I just, I refuse to give up. Well, you can never give up. I was out I here for seven up. years. Not here, Los Angeles. But right. I, I, I just, I can't give up now. So where'd you, where'd you sleep last night? By the statue, by the police station. Right down on Rampart. Right. There's nowhere, no way to live. No, it's not. I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. But, you know, you know life goes on and, like I said, eventually something to give. So you just gotta wait to see what it is. What would you want people to know about homelessness that they probably don't know? <laughs> it ain't no fun. But you gotta swallow your pride and your dignity. Just to sit there to do what I'm doing. You gotta take all the stares, all the ignorant remarks and, let it go. Just keep the faith. You know, and try to maintain. Sometimes I don't, some nights I go to bed without no food. Some nights I go to bed, still belly filling, might have a few dollars left in my pocket to get some breakfast in the morning. If not, you know what I mean? I do what I can do and just depend on God. Use it in His hand. That's all they can do. <laughs> That's about it. If you had three wishes, what would they be? My wife would be still living. I still have a job. And continue to keep my faith and, and live, live a long, joyful life. Well, thank you very much for talking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.